Good afternoon, world. Today we are at a wood shop, as you can see. I've had this place bookmarked on Yelp for so long. So we've been wanting to get a new piece for the um, above our fireplace, a mantle, a new mantle piece. And um, I found this vintage wood shop um, in LA and we made it here today to hopefully find a mantle. This is so cool. It's also really dusty here though. We have like wood chips just like flying everywhere. I think I have something in my eye right now too. Yeah, so much uh, wood here, all different types of wood. Yeah, this is really cool. All these wood pallets. Is this called a wood pallet? Wood slab, I think. I think a pallet is like those things that go under like, oh. you know what I'm talking like those things? Like the bottom oh, of gotcha. like- Oh, gotcha. All right guys, so we found this piece and we're thinking about it. It's this one on top. It's a redwood. He said it's really old. That's why it has like this deeper color. I think it's really pretty. Goes with our um, bookshelves in the living room. I guess at first I was visioning something just a little lighter. Something kind of more like... Oh ashy, God. like a yeah, little really ashy warm, but not gray, if that like makes between, sense. Between this and this. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we can yes. look around. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we could look around, but this is a good option. We could stain it too, but I feel like if we stain it, it's only going to get darker and darker. <laughs> yeah, I think so... with redwood, it's nice to keep its original color. Right. Especially like such an old piece like this, like it just has so much character. Mm -hmm. you know, like, bam. Versus, I agree. Like, covering <laughs> it with something. Yeah, I agree. Um, since we have to cut a side, do you feel like you want to cut this side or the other? I'm thinking this side because it has oh. these two holes. Yeah. But you know, well, he uh, could take three inches off this side and then three inches off this side. Actually, you're right. If they take three inches off of both sides, mm -hmm. then the sides will be equal. Yeah. See how like it's super They're old like and rough right here? Yeah, yeah. It's just like super old. It wouldn't make sense to have one clean side and one rough right. side. Right. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, this is a strong option. We can look at some more. Hi. Hello. Hi. How Good. How are you? <laughs> I mean, one of the price tag wasn't on there. So no luck, didn't find a piece. In the beginning, I was pretty set on that piece that I showed you guys on the vlog. But the more I walked around and looked at other styles and colors, I thought that one actually may be a little too red for the house because um, our chairs in the living room is more of like an ashy but warm wood. So I feel like it would just kind of clash. So yeah, we're gonna maybe check back next week. She said they may have new styles next week. And then I found another wood shop that's in LA. So maybe we'll check that one out this weekend after the wedding. Yo, we're gonna go home and feed our bellies. So hungry, but there's so much traffic. Oh my God, if you've never seen this video on YouTube, look it up. What do they type in, babe? Uh, I forgot, I typed in funny Asian. <laughs> Uh, touch my body. Yeah. It's like the first video that comes up. It's the lyrics that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy interview. <laughs> so I haven't checked on my how to put on a tampon video in years. I did not know it had 9.7 million views. <laughs> we were just laughing at the that's video crazy. we were watching and while was like this video has 14 million views. And I'm like I wonder how many mine has. 9.7 million? That's a lot of views. That is crazy. When did I post this? Let me see. Uh -huh. Um, wow, eight years ago. Oh man, look at look at my baby face. That was my old room at my mom's house. And your baby eyebrows. <laughs> and my braces, I had braces still. This video makes me cringe really hard, but I know you guys love it. <laughs> And if you found me through this video, I appreciate you for sticking around and not judging me. <laughs> the home grain the same. Why do I have a scarf on with the t-shirt? What am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't decide whether it was cold or hot. <laughs> good times, good times. Juana just took a nap and we wake up and it is dark outside. Do you ever just have one of those naps where you're just like... Okay, I'm just gonna shut my eyes for like 15 minutes and that was the plan. We got in bed, we're like, all right, let's just take a 15 minute nap. We're gonna wake up on the alarm, okay? We're gonna wake up and then we're gonna go do groceries and we're gonna be productive. We wake up and it's 8.30 p.m. <laughs> How are you feeling? You just mm. feel like you don't even know what day it is anymore. It's 2019, no? Mm. Feels like no, 2020. No, no. <laughs> Spacey, yeah. I'm just reading all these DMs about um 
Mm. How people are so excited about our Jubilee two sides. I mean both sides. Two sides. Two sides. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited to see it too. You know, I was just thinking, we talked about something on there that we've never even talked about on our channel. Mm. Um, so I guess I'll tease it a little bit and you guys will just have to wait. But one of the questions was, what was our biggest argument? And uh, mm -hmm. I think it was just, what, what was our biggest argument? And we talked about it being in Hawaii. And you guys have saw and you guys have seen the Hawaii vlogs a few months ago and probably suspected nothing of it um, But we just weren't ready to talk about it at the time But we did get into a little big fight. It's not even a little it was a big fight yeah. and we shared it in that video mm -hmm. um, So yeah, I'm excited to see it <laughs> um, I'm honestly a little nervous to see it too because like we talked about we're like damn that was the first time we were so just Raw, raw about raw, our feelings raw. and just crying on camera and stuff but what ain't nobody cry all oh, right they were just cutting onions uh <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i'm excited to see it and also just like a little nervous to see it because i'm a little embarrassed but there's really truly nothing to be embarrassed Ooh. about um so mm. we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else enjoy watching Friends? I actually never, not never, but I only started watching Friends this much until this year. Growing up, I've watched it a few times because it was playing on the TV, uh, but I never really caught on to and I never really loved it. But now, oh that my god. Done, Juan, I love Friends. We it's like done, laugh baby. so hard at Friends. I never thought that this was like my type of humor, but done, it's hilarious. I love, love, love Friends. Can we just talk about how good my dogs are? I love them so much. They know it's dinner time, so they're all just waiting patiently right here. Sometimes they're not very patient, but they're being very patient tonight. You guys are so good. I love you guys so much. <laughs> okay. Um, while I'm making their food, I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about kind of our journey with our dogs. Hi. <laughs> Let me set you up here, actually. Yeah, so... We've had three dogs for a year now, but um, I've had money since she was a puppy, so it's been 12 years. Wall has grown up with dogs, and um, he's had Michi for, let's see, how long have we had Michi? I think it's been like, I want to say like seven to eight years. Yeah, Wall has probably had her for eight years, um, and then we started dating, and I've been in her life for like, six seven years seven years now it's been really like a long journey i read a lot of your comments and so many of you will compliment how well behaved our dogs are and um you guys always ask for like training videos which honestly huh? <laughs> i don't feel qualified enough to ever make a training dog video because obviously we're not trainers i mean we've had trainers before in our lives so um and i've also read a lot of books on dog training i feel like i know enough to kind of manage our family but I don't think I could ever be one to give you guys advice on training because I think the study of dog training is very, very extensive. Understanding how an animal behaves and how to train them properly is a lot of work. So, um, yeah, I don't think you know it would ever be appropriate for us to make a video on dog training but i will say for anyone who feels very discouraged because maybe your dog is not as behaved as you want it to be just know that you got to be patient because like children i feel like dogs grow up and they start to really pick up on what is expected of them and how they're supposed to behave so i've seen a huge change in our dogs over the past like year i will say since we got navi we went through a really rough patch too actually when we first adopted navi because as you guys know she was a rescue and she just she was really traumatized and it was kind of hard to break through to her and even apply like training techniques with her because she was just so scared of us but yeah like it's been quite a few years of trying to really find out what works but i found that the main thing is really just being patient and like letting your dogs kind of pick up on what is expected of them um of course you know we enforce things like we enforce our dogs not they're not allowed to get on furniture or like our bed and things like that so we've set boundaries in that way and of course that takes time oh there's a lot of moisture in here uh, but yeah of course like stuff like that takes time so uh whenever you guys comment about you know how do we train our dogs i think um the biggest advice I can really give 
is to be consistent with your training um, we never really give in even though we know our dogs like desperately want to get on our beds or like they really want to jump on us and um, they want to get super excited we just time and time again we just keep enforcing our rules and um, we ignore bad behavior and reward good behavior that's like our main thing um, but of course occasionally they'll be real bad and we'll raise our voice at them I'm not gonna lie and sit here and be like oh we only you know compliment them no girl sometimes when Navi's just being so bad I will raise my voice at her and she knows the difference in the tone and usually that like stops her from like being destructive <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's basically it as far as um, training with us goes. We're very just consistent with the training. I find that walking your dogs help a lot in building like pack leadership. Just so want to make sure your dogs know that you run this house, okay? So I find that with the walks, it's just helped a lot with them realizing they need to be following us. Uh, so that's another tip I have for you guys. But otherwise, it's just all about being patient and researching about why your your dog acts a certain way. Obviously, we're not like perfect, you know. It it looks that way. It looks like our dogs are very behaved, and they are majority of the time. But for example, we have our problems too with money. Whenever we take her out, she can she can get aggressive with other dogs. So. Um, you know, we have to be careful with that. But with that being said, I think a lot of people think if your dog behaves a certain way and your dog's not behaved, you should completely deprive them of certain things, such as taking them out. Um, at least that's something I used to do because um, I thought, oh my God, like money can snap at a dog in any second. So therefore, I'm not going to bring her out. Um, but that was a mistake. Oh my God, I'm like rambling on. Hopefully you guys aren't getting bored. But uh, yeah, like that honestly was a mistake because the more I kept her sheltered away from other animals, the more she would act aggressively towards other dogs because she never sees them in her life. Um, but obviously money is a smaller dog, so it's easier to manage. I would imagine if you have like a big dog who is aggressive, I mean, that's a lot more challenging. And in that case, I think you really have to find a trainer. Um, so yeah, over the, um, over the, hey, Navi's like bothering money but um yeah over the years we've just continued to try to keep socializing our dogs money's gone a lot better now uh walking actually or actually we both we take them to the parks and stuff and we just know what to look out for whenever we can tell that money doesn't like a dog we'll just remove her from the situation um to avoid any problems obviously you don't want your dog biting another dog you don't want your dog getting bit by another dog in a fight um so yeah, you just really have to, I guess, understand how your dog behaves, prevent things that you know your dog is capable of, and yeah, just be patient. Don't get discouraged. I know it, it feels very discouraging sometimes when money is just really like acting out and sometimes we're in public and she would just bark our heads off because she sees another dog. It's frustrating, but hold on. I get really frustrated too, but um, I would always keep trying, you know, I will keep bringing her out with us to socialize her, get her used to it, and slowly I do see improvement, so really that's like my biggest thing, just be patient, keep trying new methods, and see what works for you guys. Okay, I hope they finish their food tonight. This is like the portion we give them, this is Michi's, Nobby's, and Money's. Michi has been a little picky with her food lately, so the protein we're giving her right now is turkey. And homegirl don't really like turkey. Mm-hmm. When we were giving her beef, though, oh my goodness, she would clean the bowl. I think she just prefers a protein with more fat, but you, my lady, you are fat. Can't be eating so much fat, you know? <laughs> Sit. Oh, good girl. So trying to give give her, you know, a little bit more of a lean protein. We usually alternate the protein every two weeks. I think I've talked about that before. Apparently that's just what you're supposed to do. I'm not really sure if that's like correct, but that's what it says on the website. Money loves it though. Money loves turkey. She loves chicken. She loves turkey. She loves the beef. Okay, can you please be patient? All right, now we wait. You have to wait for the um, water to fully soak in before you feed them, which usually takes like 15 minutes. So... Everybody be patient, okay? Good girls.
Ugh, very sad moment here. I just opened my avocado and the sides aren't looking too pretty. I mean, I can still eat it, but <laughs> I love the feeling of opening an avocado and having a perfect avocado. And I'm just not getting that satisfaction right now. All right, the presentation's not really there, but it's okay. This is delicious. This is one of my favorite things to eat. <laughs> I just have stir-fried onions with soy sauce, two scrambled eggs, avocado with everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, and then um, some white rice on the bottom. You know, so while I'm having a nice little home-cooked meal, this oh, one... Oh, I'm almost done cooking my food. Oh, I already made my food. I made my food. He was like, I'm craving McDonald's. So he's been on... Is this the Quarter Pounder? It is, right? He's been on this. Like, he loves it. <laughs> Do you feel bad? Not enough. I always feel really guilty when I have McDonald's. But I will say... Can't say no to the fries. They have the best fries. Everyone, this is Chandler.